Hi, my name is Trisha Jong, and today we're going to talk about node replication. Node replication is a new feature in TSM 6.3. It was introduced to provide the ability to restore files from a secondary server should your primary server um, something happen to it. The nice thing about node replication is it takes the files um, that you specify off of site A and it incrementally replicates that data to site B. It has a lot more control than our old import-export features and the fact that you can specify which nodes data you want, which type of nodes data you want, is it backup, is it archive, is it space management. Um, you're able to utilize the deduplication that's built into TSM and you can even get very specific on things like scheduling it, when it occurs. Um, when it comes to restore, you can restore the files directly off of the target server. So that node will show up directly in that target server and you can continue with the restorations just like you would off of the primary server. In today's demonstration, I'll be first setting up node-to-node -node replication using command line. And what I'll do is I'll enable the source server to communicate with the target server. Then I'll have the source server specify which server it wants to use as its target server. Then on the target server we'll go ahead and specify which nodes and which type of data inside of that nodes we want to replicate. And finally I'll go ahead and kick off the node-to-node -node replication manually and then show you how it looks on the, on the target server once all that is done. I'll also show you how this is done inside of the admin center as you can do all of these same commands directly from the admin center. In our example we're going to use two TSM 6.3 Windows servers uh, our primary server will be the TSM1 server and we'll be replicating to the target server which we'll call TSM2 server. The first thing you have to do on each server you need to define the server name. In this case we'll call this one TSM server 1. We will also set up the server password. We'll set the server high level address. We'll set the server low level address will allow for cross-define to be set to on and we will make sure we have enabled the server sessions on these machines. Now that I've done this on the TSM1 server, I'll switch over to my TSM2 server and issue the same set of commands but in this case for the target server. So I'll set the server name and you can also see I've gone ahead and set the server password I set the server high level address, server low level address, I've set cross define on, and enable session server for the target server, which is in our case TSM2 server. The next thing we have to do is we have to have each server define the other server. So from TSM1, we're going to do a define server TSM2, and we're going to pass on the TSM2's high level address, low level address, and the server password. We're then going to switch over the TSM2 server and do the same and define TSM server 1. So we go ahead and issue that command and now if we do a query server you'll see that it knows about the, the TSM2 server knows about the TSM1 server and we should even be able to do a ping TSM1 server to make sure that they are um, talking back and forth to each other. Okay, once we see that they were able to talk with, with each other with this ping server command, we then go to our primary server and we want to say set rep server TSM2. And this is just saying TSM2 is the server I want to repli replicate to. Now, a primary server can only replicate to one target server. However, a target server can be the target for multiple servers. So, multiple servers can replicate to the same server but an individual server can only replicate itself out to one other server. So from the primary server you can see we have three nodes defined, client, lab node 1, and lab node 2. So let's go ahead and enable um, client, the node client, to be able to replicate. So we're going to issue a update node client replication status equals enabled. In fact you can get even more specific than just updating an entire node to be um, enabled for replication. You can actually say this particular backup replication can be high priority or you could say it can be only active data that's going to be replicated or only HSM data that's going to be replicated. 
So in order to get the specific backup replication to be acknowledged, you first of all have to set replis, um, replication status enabled, and then you can get more specific with rules about the priority, the type of data, is it going to be active or HSM or just archive. You can check to see if a node has actually um, had anything turned on for replication by doing a query node, and in this case we'll do client format equals detailed, and if you scroll through here you'll see that in our case both backup, archive, and space management all have default replication rules turned on. Now one thing that's important is when you replicate a node to a target server, that target server cannot have those nodes defined. So in our case if you look here at TSM2 um, server you'll see that it does not have a client or a lab node defined. In fact, the only client that's defined is one called far away. Now your your target server can be an active TSM server. Um, so it can be doing backups and everything for other clients. It just cannot be for a node that you are going to replicate over to it. When it comes to management classes, whatever uh, management class the node is using, if the target server has the same management class, that management class will also be used. In our case here on TSM1 server, you can see the management classes we have. But if you look at the TSM2 server, you'll see we only have the standard management classes. So in our case, all of the files that are sent over to the target server will be bound to the standard um, management class. Now what's important to remember is that it's actually the primary server, the original server, who controls the deletion of the files on the target server. So it's going to be the primary server once the files have been deleted off of it, it will then send commands to have them also deleted off of the target server. Now that we've defined the servers to each other, set up a target server, updated the nodes to have the replication turned on, um, and verified the management classes, we can now do a validate replication to make sure that everything else looks good before we actually kick off a replication. So we issue validate replication and then this type we're validating for client and lab node 1 and we want to verify that the connection is possible. And you'll see that it comes across and says yes this is a valid connection, here's what we're backing up, is it all data, or just backup data, here we have backup, we have archive and space management data. And so now we're going to go ahead and manually kick off the replication. Now you can set up a schedule to have replication occur on a, a specific time frame, uh, but for this example we will simply do a manual replicate node, lab node 1, and in this case uh, we're going to replicate just the backup um, data. So we can go ahead and kick that off. You can do a query process, and you'll see the replicating node is out there starting to process all the files. If we go out onto the TSM2 server and we take a look at the query client, we should now see a client showing up. We should now see the client for lab node 1 showing up as well as the um, primary far away client that was already out there. Back on the primary server, TSM1, we can also issue a query replication, lab node 1, and that will give us information about when the last replication occurred and the file system ID that was replicated across. So if there was a failure on the primary server, we could go in and actually restore files directly from the target server. You could go directly from the client who had originally backed up the files and simply kick off the, the restore operation pointing it to the new TSM2 server. Now one thing that's important is that currently as a um, target server, all it can do is receive the replications from the primary server. It cannot have the client back up to it directly. So even if server A is down, you cannot be having the, the individual machines out there back up to the target server. To switch the files on the target server to actually be able to also accommodate direct backups, um, is to release it from being a replicated node and you have to update it with a update command that that tells it that this is no longer a replicated node. And the command you would use is the remove REPL node command um, if you did have to actually also do backups to your target server. So here you can see we could actually go through and, and then just choose files to restore directly back to the client from directly from the target server. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over and show you how you would do this inside of the admin center. 
So for this admin center demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to take TSM2 server, make it the primary server, and have it replicate its data to the TSM1 server. So we're basically reversing the mode. We, we previously in the command line showed you having TSM1 replicate its data to TSM2, and now we're showing you TSM2 replicating its server back, its data back to TSM1 server. So from inside the admin console, if you go to Tivoli Storage Manager and then you go to Manage Servers, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to select the TSM2 server, that's who we're on, and we're going to go into Select Actions and we're going to specify um, Configure Node Replication. It's going to ask us to select a target server that we want to replicate to. Server 2, TSM2 is a source server, and we're going to replicate it out. Click Next. And for the target replication server, we are going to select a target replication server because remember we've already done the definition of define server to server. We did that through the command line. But you could have also done it through the GUI. So we've now said go ahead and replicate to TSM1 server. And in this case, yes, go ahead and back up all the data Yes, archive all the data and any space managed data as well. Now you could have, you can change anything you want right here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to spe specify which clients we want to replicate across. Now remember, the only native client that we have on TSM2 is client far away. This lab node client actually is a replicated client from the TSM1 server, so we wouldn't want to replicate that backwards. That makes no sense. So we go ahead and click far away, next, and we've gone ahead and we have a summary of what is replicating to which different places, and we're going to say that's correct finish. Now when it comes to the admin console, you cannot kick off an on-demand replication. The only thing you can do is actually set up specific schedules. So you do, if you wanted to do an actual replicate node, you have to do it from the command line. So well, let's go in and actually physically enable the, um, the replication for the node. So in order to do that, you're going to go into your select action, let's see, manage node replication here because we've already configured it. And then we're going to say, let's go ahead into the client nodes. And here we have our specific far away. So let's click it and let's click on select action and let's say enable replication right here. And you could obviously enable specific types of replication. We're going to do just straight up enable it. Let's go ahead and scroll down. I click apply and then let's go back to our command line prompt and try to do the backup again. Here I actually got to pull up an admin session so we'll start up with administrator admin1 admin1 okay. replicate node far away data type equals backup. So this time we should be able to get it because we actually did our um, enabled it through the GUI. Okay, and then you can see it's kicking off. If we go over to our TSM1 server, now we can see far away listed as a node there. So if I do a query node, voila, well, it hasn't come across yet, so let's see, let's wait a few seconds here and try again. There we go. There is our node far away is now being replicated back to our TSM1 server. Okay, so what I've walked you through today is node-to-node -node replication. It's a new feature in TSM 6.3. Your servers do have to be at TSM 6.3 to be able to do replication. It does replicate just the new files, or if you have deduplication on, just the new bits of information that don't already exist on the target server. You can replicate one server to another server, but a server can act as the replication destination for multiple servers. You cannot have a node backup to the target server. It can only be replicated to there. And there are no extra costs associated with doing node-to-node -node replication when it comes to licensing. Thank you for your time.